Here on Healing Quest, one thing we most like to do is to spotlight pioneers who are creating new pathways to optimum health. That's certainly the case with the two people you're going to meet in our next story. In fact, what they're doing is manifesting a major new approach to healing at a very profound level. Pediatric intensive care units are typically jam-packed with the very latest in modern technology. Dr. David Steinhorn uses all that and more to save young lives at one of the top children's hospitals in the U.S. But sometimes he calls in a very different resource. Someone who's helping him integrate ancient shamanic practices into modern Western medicine. Shamanic healing has been an ancient healing art that has existed thousands of years. Jana Din is one of a number of shamanic healers across the country giving new meaning to the concept of integrative healing. It's working with the human spirit. It's working with the healing needs of the soul and the spirit. Because for a person to be in health and wellness, it takes the alignment of mind, body, spirit, and soul. My contract is to be the physician. And, uh, and my, my, my calling is to find a way of treating the whole patient. And when I can't treat the other parts, I need to bring in allies to do that additional care. Lauren Douglas is one patient who's benefited from that additional care. About a year before we took these pictures, Lauren was suffering from kidney failure and a devastating lung disease. At one point, she was in an induced coma for 30 days. But she survived the crisis endured months of dialysis, and finally underwent kidney transplant surgery. The operation was a success, and Lauren has resumed most of her normal life, except for playing soccer. It was my goal to bring in somebody who is not part of the medical team to, um, to begin to explore how to find a, a place where Lauren could go that was safe, safe inside herself, safe in her emotions, because the medical environment is in general a fairly threatening environment. It's not a child-friendly or even human-friendly environment. And so my goal was for Jana to explore with Lauren, with her mother's permission, um, what might be a safe place at which one can feel it's okay to stay in this world. When she came out of that coma, and she was conscious what I was doing, the healing work. She, she really expressed how relaxing it was and how it helped her to calm down when her blood pressure would be high and she was very stressed at all of the medical intervention that was necessary really to save her life. Hi, gorgeous. How are you doing? You okay? Yes? Oh my goodness, Lauren, it is so good to see you. Oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you. Hi, baby. Lauren, she was a great patient, but yet she was still scared of what was happening. After when Jana was there, Lauren would just nap and was just in such a calm state at that time. Tell me about what where you went the first time she did. Um, she said to imagine a, a meadow and have beautiful flowers in the meadow. And she told, um, she told me, do you see an animal or like a dog? I said, yes, I see a dog. It was a beagle and its name was Shiloh. And I saw a girl and I saw many butterflies. What does butterfly mean to you? They represent like bravery and just peacefulness and they're very beautiful. Jana says she's tapping into centuries of native wisdom in her healing sessions. Different cultures around the world all have some form of healers that address the healing of the spirit and the soul. And the very common core practice is that they use some type of repetitive, either percussive instrument. It could be using their voice, toning, um, a drum, in my case, a rattle, a gong, a bell, but something that induces a very relaxed state of mind. And when that practitioner gets into that altered state of mind, then they're able to access 
information and healing energy on behalf of the client. Not all of Jana's shamanic work involves remarkable recovery stories like Lauren's. <laughs> Some of these patients, they have very life-limiting diseases. Often healing, really, is allowing the parents to understand that, that life continues on in their hearts, in their minds, to be able to bring that forward to parents. Heart to Heart talks with them is some of the most powerful healing work that I've had the privilege of assisting. This California hospital is not the only place where Dr. Steinhorn has brought shamanic practices into his medical model. He's also introduced it into hospitals in Chicago and Buffalo, and his intention is that this kind of integrative medicine becomes even more widely adopted. It's almost a foregone conclusion that there will have to be additional approaches to healing than uh, simply more and more allopathic medicine and Western pharmacologically based therapies. As my favorite Hmong shaman in Sacramento told me, David, if we support the human spirit, doesn't that allow the body to accept Western medicine more effectively? Many things about that story are memorable, but we especially admire the innovative spirit and frankly the courage of Dr. Steinhorn in bringing shamanic healing into a modern hospital setting. And we also admire and thank Lauren for sharing her inspirational story with us. Now, finding shamanic healers as gifted as Jana Din is of course no easy task, but a society for shamanic practitioners has been formed and we have the link for you at healingquest.tv if you'd like to see what's available in your area.